Hi, stamping friends. Susan Campfield here, suestampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, relax. Who's ready for a creative escape? I am. <laughs> Let's react. Blah, 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 blah. Let's relax and create together. I'm going to have a hard time talking today, I think. So I hope you're doing well. Good to see so many of you in the comments. Shout out to my awesome moderator, Jennifer Walsh. Thank you, Jennifer, for everything you do for us. If you have a question, you can tag Jennifer with the and at symbol and type in her name. And in case I miss your question, um, she can help us get the get it answered so thanks jennifer hope you're all doing well uh it is a overcast kind of rainy day here in minnesota it's supposed to start storming tonight but so far nothing so that's good uh let me know how the weather is in your neck of the woods um we're gonna create a fun fold card tonight surprise i know i love fun folds i can't help it um they inspire my creativity and i'll have like a kind of a creative blank and I can't think of what to make and um, a fun fold card almost always um, kind of sparks that that imagination and gets me going. So the card we're making tonight, we're going to design together. It has been a very busy day in Sue Stampfield land. Lots of team events today. Shout out to my awesome team. Um, my um, I spent the morning in a Zoom call planning of a large team event, uh, event for July 30th and then uh, had a collaboration uh, team event this afternoon with uh, three other awesome demonstrators that we did for our teams where we made eight cards and they stamped along with us. So fun, right? Um, so it's been a busy, busy day and I'm ready to relax with you all. But our card, we're, <laughs> we're creating it together, friends. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, I'm so glad you caught me live too, Colette. So good to see you guys in the comments. And uh, got Australia tuning in. Woo woo! North Carolina, Missouri. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera. Uh, before I do, I'm going to remind you that if you like to have creative ideas, you can sign up for my free project sheet emails, uh, suestampfield.com. Click on subscribe and we'll get you some creative inspiration in your inbox. Let's go ahead and flip cameras and get this party started. Woo woo! All right, here we go. We're going to start with uh, doing a little stamping and die cutting here. So um, we have the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. This is a hidden gem from the catalog. Uh, my team members are now very familiar with this because all eight cards we made today were with this bundle, right? Um, super fun. And we're going to do a completely different card uh, now with this bundle. So it is a huge set it is very much focused on thank you and making people feel good and kindness. And those are things that I am so passionate about. Um, I love that we can make cards and uh, bring joy and happiness to the world by sending those cards in the mail. I'm going to bring in the die cutting machine right here. Got little bits and pieces all over my desk. And that is how we roll, friends. <laughs> I am a messy stamper, so I will lose multiple things during our video. Bear with me. Um, that's just the world I live in. And that's how I create, sadly, but it's true. All right. So we're going to start by die cutting. So I have this amazing set of dies, the timeless arrangement dies. Um, now, again, the stamp set is very focused on thank yous. Although you can make some super cute birthday cards with hope your day is filled with everything good. We're going to make just kind of a, a feel good card to send to somebody. So we're going to take off the three rectangle dies. These are just the regular rectangles. Well, they're not regular rectangles. They are decorative. They have little decorative dots. They're going to be die cut in them and little X's um, and in four points. So I'm going to grab this one. Oh, goodness. Got fumble fingers tonight. And then I'm going to grab the other three. We're just going to do all of them. I'm going to do them all. So I've got those laid on there. And then we're going to want to add a little something, something to our card. These dies right here are awesome for decorating your card. So we're going to take this one right here. Kind of reminds me of baby's breath. I've been using it a ton. Um, and it's just a really fun way to add... Um, a super cheap embellishment to your card because it's just paper. <laughs> it's just paper. Oh my gosh, look at all that extra 
extra cardstock I have. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the top plate on. And I've already lost the fruit. Oh, found it, found it, found it. Oh, that was a quick one. Take a sip, everyone. Mm. Let me know what is in your cup tonight. I have delicious ice water. And we're going to go ahead and die cut these so we can do fun things with them. So I'm going to crank it through. I have a piece of cardstock here that mm, I think it's three inches by eight and a half. And you can see it was plenty big. It was a scrap that was just hanging out on the table waiting to be made into something pretty. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull these off and I'm going to go through one more time. So I've got this cute little, see if you can see that, if I zoom that up, see the little dots and then there's a little uh, X um, kind of cross shape on each of the sides and then top and bottom. Same with this one and same with this one. So I've got those three and I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to just take a half a second to put them back in the magnet sheet so that we have no missing dies tonight. All right, and then let's take this one. Now, I have been using this die a lot, and so I'm going to just take my die brush tool and kind of help this come out because it's very delicate um, die cut. So I'm just going to give it a gentle tug. I don't want to rip anything. I'm just going to pop it out. So there you can see our little, kind of like baby's breath, right? And then we're going to go ahead and cut one more of the same thing. I'm just going to poke out these little bits. And I'm going to go ahead and send us through and get one more of that fun uh, thing. So your last cup of coffee, huh, Linda? I'm not a coffee drinker, but I am a tea drinker. I love my tea. We had a lovely tea party this weekend down at the farm with my mom celebrating King Charles coronation. Super fun. I posted lots of pictures on my Facebook group, uh, the Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Anyone is welcome to join us over there. And I realize not everybody is on Facebook. That's fine. I will try to put some of those in my next uh, project sheet email just at the bottom in case you're interested. So uh, let's see. There's there's more than just projects in those emails. <laughs> I try to fill them with value and uh, just kind of let you know also what's happening in my world. So we're going to pull this last one out. All right. We uh, are using, we use the same die and the same set for Crafter Noon. For those of you who are going to be joining me, this coming Saturday, we have Crafter Noon. Uh, team members, you'll be getting an email from me with all of uh, the um, things you want to cut for that project. And uh, customers who placed a qualifying order in uh, what month are we? <laughs> in April, um, are going to get an e uh, a packet in the mail that those went out uh, last Friday. Um, to make the card right along with me. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I am super zoomed in here. Um, I'm going to grab the stamp set here. This is a timeless arrangement set. And I'm going to grab this really cool flower stamp. I love this one. And I want, I just put it away. That was dumb. <laughs> I want the Memento uh, Tuxedo Black ink for this. Seriously, it was out here and I was like, oh, I'll just put that away. I never put anything away. Who even am I? <laughs> All right. And we're just going to stamp this right on our uh, rectangle. Now, if this makes you nervous to stamp after it's die cut, you absolutely could have uh, stamped it first and then die cut it. It's totally fine. We're also going to add a sentiment to this. Um, why don't we just... Do I want to use black for that or color? Oh boy, I'm going to use black so that I don't have to think very much. Um, I'm going to go with you are the best. I think that'll fit. Let's find out. I don't know. Maybe it's too long. If it's too long, we're going to go with love you. Uh, you are the best. Oh goodness. I'm looking. Oh, here it is. I think that'll fit. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, it's perfect. It's like it was made for it. We also could have done the love you because who doesn't need a little love in the mail, right? But this one, we're going to go with you are the best because you could send that to anybody. 
Oh, this is sad. I'm running out of blocks in my drawer. I own many, 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 many blocks and I put stamps on them and then I, <laughs> I pile them over on the right side of my desk because I'm like, well, I might want that again and then I don't have to put it on the block. Yeah. Okay. I'm running out of blocks. So it's time to clean the desk. Oh, such a sad state of affairs. I'm going to go ahead and stamp. You are the best right here in this little label. So fun. And we're going to set that aside. Okay. So, oh, what did it, what date did I miss? Uh, Jennifer, uh, Carol was asking the date. When is the June crafter noon? Oh my goodness, Carol. Um, you like to plan ahead, don't you? Um, you're better than I am at that. The June crafter noon should be around the 20th, whatever that Saturday is, except for I might have to go to the farm and help with tree pruning. So stay tuned on that. Uh, might have to do it the week prior. But I will, uh, why don't you shoot me an email, Carol, and uh, I'll uh, see if I, we can figure it out and get a date on the books. So, all right. So my family has a Christmas tree farm. And uh, you know what? Pine trees do not grow in that pine tree shape. They need um, to be pruned into that shape. So we have to do that every summer. So I have two dimensionals on the back of my You Are the Best. I'm just gonna peel the backs off of that. And I this one perfectly layers on this other frame. Now I went white on white. You absolutely could put a color behind there. That would look awesome as well. And then we have our flower, which we're gonna color. But I don't know what color we're going to color it. I need your help for that. So let's bring in our designer series paper. And we are making a, oh, I dropped something. Hang on. <laughs> dropped one of my little spriggy things. All right. So we are going to make a, um, what's it called? A scenery panel, three, three panel scenery Z fold card. Whoo, that's a mouthful. And we're going to use the beautiful, uh, countryside and designer series paper. I was looking through my package. I've gone through so many packs of this, you guys. We are using this paper um, also for Crafternoon on uh, Saturday for our Make and Take project. Plus, I'll have a whole bunch more uh, with our new unique fun fold. So here we've got the beautiful trees. We've got the fox. Um, we're making a scenery. So I'm only focusing on the, the patterns that have a scenery in them, the birds and the bunnies. I did a little playing around um, before we started and I felt that, so th this, these are the other ones, but they're not, they're not really a scene. So I'm going to stick with the scenery ones. I thought the fox or the trees would be a good choice. I thought the others, it might get a little lost. You could certainly do it. You just want to put a piece of cardstock behind it. So let me know in the comments if you think we should go with the fox or with the trees. And while you're voting for that, I'm going to get out my paper trimmer because we are going to cut this together. It would have been super awesome if I had printed out the measurements. Jennifer's got them. <laughs> All right. Mm, it's boy, lots of votes. Thanks for voting, everyone. Fox, 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 trees, trees, fox, fox, trees. It looks like the foxes have it. All right, fox it is. Trees would also be super cute. Maybe I will, I'll see if I have time to make that up and post it in the Sue Stamfield Facebook group after the fact. All right, so, but it might take me a day or two. So give me, give me a little grace on that. So we have our paper here. We're going to go ahead and cut this and we're going to cut this. You know what? I can show you the fold that we're doing first. So it gives you an idea. We're using this paper, but I got this swap card. No, it got, there's no name on the back. I'm pretty sure this one came from my friend, Sandy Carlson, um, in, uh, also here in Minnesota. She's up north, north, so way northwest. Um, this one opens up like this. So this is this, the um, three panel scenery fun fold, uh, Z fold card, which I learned from Rachel Tessman. This one has slightly different measurements than the one that I had learned. Um, so we're going to do Sandy's uh, dimensions here. And she did it with the fresh as a, da la la, fresh as a daisy. I can talk tonight, you guys. Fresh as a daisy designer series paper. We're going to do it with, of course, the countryside in and our foxes. So we're going to cut this at... I have to go and look. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut this at 
five and a half. No, excuse me. Five and a quarter by eight and a half. Five and a quarter. All right. And then this is 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half. So I'm going to pull out the sidearm on my paper trimmer here so that I can find that eight and a half mark and just trim this again here. All right. We have our foxes. Now I cut this so that I made sure the scenery was um, left to right, not Kitty Wampus, right? So you want to make sure the direction of the pattern goes along the length of your piece. And then you're going to cut it again. So you're going to cut it into three pieces. We're going to cut the first piece at, I have to look, three and three eighths. So there's the three. I'm not super mathematical, so I actually just count the little hash marks. Each one is eight inches. So one, two, three. So we're an eighth inch shy of the half inch mark. I'm going to zoom that up just so you can see that again. So we have the three and then we count the marks. One, two, three. All right. So that's three and three eighths inches. And then our next one, we're going to cut at three inches. And our last one is, should be two and an eighth inch. It's not, what the heck did I do wrong? All right, hang on, hold the phone. I got my measurements are wrong. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I apologize. Our, oh, yeah, I, I, I messed up. Hang on guys, let's find out what I did wrong. <gasps> let's figure it out. Susan can't do math today. All right, let's just match up here. All right, so this one, <gasps> That looks a little short, doesn't it? Ooh, okay, I cut that one wrong. Let's see if this one's right. Okay, that one looks right. And then this one is clearly too long. So, mm, all right, do over. <laughs> okay, you take your piece of paper. <gasps> oh goodness, all right. Mm, I know you've all done it before. We've we've cut wrong, measure twice, cut cut once. All right, let's start over, gang. Good thing I got another whole half of this paper. Five and a quarter inches. I know that is correct. All right, and I am not going to cut it down. I'm just going to <laughs> match this up because I have this measurement wrong. Sorry, Jennifer, what I sent you was I think wrong, or I think I just cut it wrong. It is three and three eighths, and I thought that's what I cut. But why is that not? All right, hang on. <laughs> oh, you guys are so patient. Oh my goodness. No, I, 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 yeah, I don't know what I did. I think I cut it at like three and a quarter or something. So, mm. all right, three and three eighths, Susan. Let's try that. Goodness gracious. And then three. And then the last one is two and an eighth. All right. <laughs> I think the measurements I gave you were correct, Jennifer, um, it, with the exception that the piece was not the right length. So let's see what that is. And we'll just correct that real quick. No, it was. I think Susan just cut it wrong. Yeah, it is eight and a half by five and a quarter. All right. Measurements are right. Susan is just... Susan is extra loopy today. So we have, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you, Carol. You are my people. You're being very kind. Thank you. Oh, you know what? We need a card base. I'm all flustered now. All right. So we, we have our three pieces cut correctly. Uh, three and three eighths, three inches, and then two and an eighth. Now we need our card base. So um, I did not decide on the card base color because I was waiting to see what pattern we were going to use. Um, because we're using the fox, hang on. Sorry, I love it when I keep talking after I walk away. Because we're using the fox, I'm thinking Knight of Navy would look qu quite nice. Had we gone with the trees, I would probably go with boho blue. Um, but we're doing the fox, which is more balmy blue, misty moonlight, and navy. And let's just take a peek at the misty moonlight. Oh, that's navy, Susan. Oh, hang on. <gasps> hang on. This is misty moonlight. 
Mm, that would be nice too, but I think I like the navy better. All right, we're going to go with navy, friends. But let me know in the comments when we color our flower if you think we should go with the flower in balmy blue, night of navy, or misty moonlight. Let me know what color we're doing our flower. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece while you vote. So this piece <clears throat> is five and a half by, oh, so funny. All right, five and a half by, I'm cheating and looking at 11, five and a half by 11. Well, that was easy. And then we're going to score it at four and an eighth. and eight inches. So let's pull that side piece out again. And eight inches. All right, so I've got my three different score lines. Put my trimmer aside, unless I messed anything else up. <clears throat> All right, and so the card actually goes this way. We are going to need to cut this white piece for in here. We'll get that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this um, valley. Okay, so put your wider side on the right and then fold it valley fold. And then fold this one mountain fold. And that forms our Z. And I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good crease. There we go. So we've got that Z fold happening. And sorry, I went away from the comments. Let me pop in there. Which color is lighter? The balmy blue is the lightest. Misty moonlight is in between and night of navy is the darkest. So this, what, what is a little bit different about this card is that this front piece actually hangs over. So when you go to layer it on, you might think, oh my, I cut that wrong. Um, it does look wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Well, it's just, yeah, this is, oh my gosh, you guys. Hang on. Hang on. Hold the phone. This looks a skosh off. All right, I'm making an executive decision. I'm cutting off a bit of this here. Oh boy. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm going to go three and a, I'm cutting this at three and a quarter. Let's see what it looks like. Taking a little chunk out of my box. It's totally fine. <laughs> you do want to cut it in order so that it's, okay, now that's perfect. So. All right. Oh, boy. This is a, quite the adventure tonight. <laughs> uh, adhesive. Oh, found it. It was hiding in the dimensionals. Take a sip, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, Jennifer. Here's where we ended up. We ended up at... Oh, and I just did it wrong. Okay, you do not want to put adhesive here because you're going to glue the card. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am, um, yeah, totally brain dead today. So do you see what I did? Do you see what I did? I put some adhesive right there and that's going to glue my card shut. All right, we need fixes. How do we fix it, friends? There's some, uh, there's options. There are options on how I fix that. So I'm going to make sure this uh, works out right now. And it does. So right here. All right, I'm going to put adhesive on this. I'm thinking, okay, bear with me here. Here's what I'm thinking. What if I just put, I mean, I could take my adhesive eraser and remove all of that, but it seems like a lot of work. What if I just put a piece of cardstock there, right? Just cover it up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, man alive. All right, we're going to get there, friends. <laughs> we are going to get there. I'm going to cut a little scrappy doodle that is five and a quarter by half inch. And I'm just covering up that extra sticky. 
<laughs> we can fix anything, right? We can fix anything. Let's see what else I can mess up tonight. We'll learn all sorts of ways to fix it. Okay, that's a little wide. I'm going to trim that down. Of course it is. Heaven forbid anything should be in the right dimension tonight. Oh my goodness. What is even happening here? Crafting chaos. All right. This is now three eighths inches. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do the job. Secret. Nobody will ever know. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> and then this piece goes right in here. Got to match up my little scenery, right? So we've got our foxes. Here's the tail on this fox. So I'm just going to make sure I get that right in there. Finish that scene out. Such cute paper, right? So cute. And then we have a space left over. I don't trust my measurements at all anymore. So I'm going to measure that. Mm, gracious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, powder. You're right, Brene. That would have worked, too. I could have used, like, the embossing buddy to just put embossing powder on it, and that would have fixed it. Mm, there's options, right? There's options. Crafting, it's all about fixing your mistakes so that nobody knows. <laughs> all right, let me grab a piece of basic white. And we're going to get just cut this here. I think, I think I want this to be one and seven eighths, but I almost think I could get away with one and three quarters. Let me just check it. I'm going to try it at one and three quarters. If we don't like it, we can. We got more paper. Come here, you. Yeah, I kind of like that better, actually. Um, Sandy's was a little skinnier, which also works. This one gives me just a little more space. So, all right. Oh, golly, golly. All right. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in, even though I haven't stamped my greeting yet, because what could go wrong, right? <laughs> Whoops, we're going to live dangerously. All right, how easy was that? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. All right, oh goodness, no mistakes, just new creations. You guys are awesome. Um, all right. So let's see. There are no duds in stamping, just embellishment opportunities, right? All right. So we have our, you are the best greeting and don't worry, friends. I will <clears throat> give you all of the the new and improved dimensions before I, uh, leave tonight. Help me remember Jennifer. Mm, hang on. Let me find a, find a paper. Here's one. It's got some pretty flowers on it. So I'm going to flip it over. So we're going to color our flower and I need to look back and see what you guys decided on for your color on our flower. Uh, misty moonlight, balmy blue. Looks like balmy blue was the winner. So we're going to try a balmy blue flower. So I have some balmy blue Stampin' Blends. Now, if you are not a colorer, this flower is so teeny weeny. Seriously, this isn't even coloring. It's just dots, right? Just think of it as little bitty squiggly dots if you get freaked out by coloring. So here's our balmy blue flower. That is pretty. I would have done, I think I would have done Misty Moonlight. Um, but you guys are smart. I like the balmy. Um, now I'm going to switch to the skinny end to just uh, get a little bit closer to the edge with a little more control than I have with the, the wide tip. Now this is the light balmy blue that I'm using here. If you want to add, a, if you want to get a little fancier and actually be coloring, you can um, add a little blending, a little bit, which is 
I mean, really, I'm just adding a little bit of darkness to the middle of the flower. That's totally not even coloring either, right? And a little bit on the squiggles on those lines on the diagram. Okay, so we've got our flower color there. I'm going to color the leaf, and I'm going to go a little rogue here. I realize leaves are typically green. Ours is not going to be green because we don't have to follow the rules of nature, right? <laughs> We're going to make our leaf misty moonlight. Actually, I'm going to make it dark misty moonlight because I can, right? And that will match our paper. All right, so this is not even coloring either. It's a skinny little line right there. Boop, boop. All right, so I've got my leaves. Now, you could totally do those green if that bugs you. Um, you know what? You can do it differently, right? So we're just going to add these embellishments to our card. So I'm going to take this um, and put some adhesive along each side of my flower piece here. And I'm just going to stick that kind of baby's breath piece so that it sticks out the side. So it's got like a little built-in handle. How cool is that? So that it, it just goes behind these rectangles. So cute. And you've got little sprigs coming out on your card. Now we could put it on there flat, but I think dimensionals make everything more fun. So we're going to add some dimensionals on there. Now the dimensionals are also going to kind of double reinforce um, those uh, side pieces so they don't fall out. <laughs> I crack myself up. Oh my goodness. All right. We're going to figure out what the heck we did here in just a minute. We're going to get these sizes figured out put up for you. So there we have our little floral spray there. And these kind of blend in a little bit to the background on this darker one. If we had gone with a lighter piece, you know, they're going to show up a little bit more. So that's personal preference on, on which way you want to go on that. And then we have our You Are the Best that goes at the top. I am actually going to just stick this one straight on because I've already got a dimensional behind there behind that top layer so that we're going to put right there you are the best okay and i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i was thinking for our inside greeting that we would go hope your day is filled with everything good which i just so happen to have right here on my desk so you are the best hope your day is filled with everything good doesn't not necessarily a thank you it's it's more of a I'm going to call it a feel good card. Um, let's just use Knight of Navy on the inside. All right, so I'm just going to stamp that right there. And we just got a little room to sign it and say, you know, thinking of you or whatever you want to do there. All right, let's break it down. <laughs> Let's find out what the heck size we ended up with because, oh my goodness, I don't even know anymore. All right. So, get my handy dandy ruler out. Some, a lot of rulers here. I don't know where my cute little one went. I don't know where it went. It was just here, but we'll use the bigger one. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, I'm going to take my. <gasps> what about a ribbon? Oh, Brandy, add a ribbon. Oh, you're right, Brandy. I think a ribbon would be a really great idea. And you're right, it is my favorite thing. So, um, balmy blue, just looking at my options. So this balmy blue is pretty big. I'm going to try it, but it might be too big. This is the variegated um, balmy blue ribbon. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, variegated balmy blue ribbon. I don't have the jute yet. That, that's in the in color. So I don't know that that would be the right color either. So here's one option. Could pop that on there. Hang on. Just tying a knot. I would cut it short. That would be kind of cute. All right, so that's one option. And the other option is going to be this one. This is the bordered ribbon. Let's see what else I have here. 
This one is Misty Moonlight with the white in it. I'm going to try this one here. And I'm going to let you guys decide which one you like best. Thank you, Bonnie, for, for, or Brandy. Brandy was the one that said, don't forget the ribbon. Because I was thinking the ribbon would be cute on this. And then I went and forgot because I got all flustered. So <laughs> there's the navy one. I think I'd cut it even shorter. <gasps> even shorter. Just cute little teeny weeny. Precious little bow right there. So that's what the navy would look like. And then <laughs> let's grab this one. All right. I'm just futzing with it. All right. I think this one might be too wide. I don't know. Let's see what we think. We're going to cut it really short. Need it shorter, Sue. Okay. All right. So let me know in the comments if you want the darker ribbon or the lighter ribbon. And I know some of you are going to say no ribbon, <laughs> but we are going to do the ribbon. The other's too big. You like the navy. You like the two-tone Joe. Navy, navy, navy. It looks like the navy is the winner. So let's go ahead and do that. On this other one, though, I might do like a balmy blue or something like that. So let's put our navy one on there. I'm just going to grab a glue dot here. Pop that right in place and we'll stamp our inside sentiment and then we're going to put up all the dimensions uh, on the screen uh, once we figure out what the heck they ended up being. Okay, it's sticking out so I'm just going to poke it in with my finger. There we have our little ribbon on the our bouquet. All right, so, oh, we've already got our inside sentiment. Okay, let's break it down here. I am going to go in here. And I need to do a wee bit of adjusting to the measurements I had because they were not correct. <clears throat> oh, there's my little ruler. Oh, did you see it? It was seriously hiding under here and here. This is how I lose things, friends. <laughs> All right. But I think the longer will be better anyway because I can't do math tonight, clearly. All right. So this ended up being three and a quarter. I'm going to just adjust this in our notes so that I can put this on the screen and you can take a screenshot and you can create this card with much less muss and fuss than I did. And then three inches. I had that one right. And then this last one was two and an eighth. All right. So if I add those up, I've got three and a quarter. That makes six and a quarter. That makes eight and a quarter plus an eighth. So eight and three eighths is our winning dimension here. And let me just check and see what happened with our score lines. I think I had the score lines correct, but who even knows anymore? Let's double check. It was 11 inches long by five and a half. That was right. And we scored it at four and a quarter, bingo, and eight inches. All right. I, I think we got it. And then our white piece was one and three quarters. All right. That's slightly different than this as well. One and three quarters. Oh my goodness. We did it. That was easy. Oh gracious. All right. I'm going to pop this up. I'm going to just clean. <clears throat> this is how I clean my area. I just shove everything aside. And I, I'm going to hold it like oh, wait, a little bit of stuff on my desk. I'm going to hold it like this so that you can take a screenshot where you can see the Z fold part. Okay. And then I also will open it all the way up if you want to do a screenshot that way. <laughs> Found, oh, I forgot to take a sip. You're right. Mm. Okay. So. Jennifer uh, says I need to confirm the score marks. They're right there on the screen. So, and I did double check that those are correct. So it's five and a half by 11, scored at four and a quarter and then eight inches. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your patience tonight in our crafting adventure. And then I'm going to make another one. 
<laughs> now that I know the proper way to do it, I'm going to make another one with the trees and I will color the flower for that one, probably with the uh, boho blue, which is right here. Although the, it could use the, the balmy blue as well, because it's also in this pattern and um, post that in the Sue Stampfield Facebook group for something a little bit different. I also am sure it will also end up on my on my Instagram account. Um, so, and then again, let's take a quick look at Sandy's card, which was similar, uh, slightly, slightly different. And I still don't know. I think there was a three eighths inch in here that I got a little bit off on. So this is our version. Let's see how, how close they ended up being. Yeah, it's really, really close. This is just off by a teeny weeny bit. So there we go. That's the um, panel. What did I call it? <laughs> Three panel scenery Z fold card. Oh my goodness. Make sure the front DSP isn't adhered all the way down. That is right, Lisa. That was my boo boo right here. Don't put adhesive on the edge of your DSP on the right because it hangs over and I messed it up. And if you do, you can cover it with cardstock. What were other um, good workarounds for that? We could have taken the embossing buddy and put powder on it or even cornstarch. You can brush that on it. You could use your adhesive um, remover. So um, Paula wants to see wild wheat next to lemon lime twist. They don't, it doesn't look like wheat to you on the screen. All right, I can absolutely do that. Let me bring in a little bit of wild wheat. Wild wheat is one of the new in colors. And oh, you know what? This reminds me, I wanted to mention to you, I know several of you have been anxiously awaiting for the uh, Basics 3D embossing folders to come back in stock. They are back. Um, so that is a pack that has three folders. It has this, um, the poppet, <laughs> poppets, actually it's hobnail glass. Um, and the, this kind of crosshatch pattern. And then there's one other that is um, really pretty and I don't have a sample on hand. Uh, do I? Hang on, let me look. Nope, this one is also the, um, the hobnail glass. So anyway, those are back in stock if you've been waiting for those. So wild wheat, let's talk wild wheat. So we've got Moody Mauve, we've got Boho Blue, we've got Pebbled Path, We've got copper clay, and then we have wild wheat. This one was the, um, the spring fold, fun fold card from last month's Crafter Noon. I can't hardly wait to show you the new fold this weekend. I'm so excited. Um, but this is wild wheat. So wild wheat is one of those colors that can look very gold if you put it with yellow and gold, and it can look very green if you put it with green. So let me grab lemon lime twist. I'm gonna make sure I don't grab Parakeet Party. All right. This is Lemon Lime Twist. Very different, right? Very, very different. And this is Wild Wheat. So when I hold them up like this, it is very gold, right? Uh, but can you see there is a bit of greenish hue to it? Let me bring in Crush Curry. When it's next to a yellow, you can see it gets much more green. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is a very um, trending color right now, this um, chartreuse kind of uh, color. So it, it is fun for something a little bit different, right? Um, let me grab the color coach here. Now I did in my last email, I did send out uh, my last project sheet email. I did send out this color coach. Um, Stampin' Up! gave me authorization to share that with all of you. Um, and so on here, let's look at Lemon Lime Twist right here. And then compared to Wild Wheat, which is actually over here, Susan. I do Rainbow Order and Wild Wheat is actually in with the, um, what's this one here? That's Copper Clay, Cajun Craze, and then Wild Wheat. So it is in with the yellow and orange colors but it does have a lot of green in it. So very different uh, colors. So um, <laughs> you've never seen wheat quite that color in Fields by You. No, nope, it's more of a chartreuse. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, all right. I'm going to flip the camera here. 
Yeah, it's really interesting how it changes. Now, um, Jennifer is dropping the link there. Those embossing folders are not in the catalog. So they are um, on uh, in the online exclusives. So that's where you'll find them. If you go to my online store and just search for basics, um, they'll pop right up. So thank you so much, everyone, for your patience tonight in our crafting adventure. Oh, my goodness. Um <laughs> We figured it out in the end though, right? We came up with a really cute card and that that's the goal. Actually, that's not the goal. The goal is to get that card in the mail and brighten somebody's day, right? I'm going to, why is this not wanting to go away? Hang on. Got to hit the right buttons. There we go. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me, everyone. Um, uh, let's make the world a better place by making and sending lots of handmade cards. Uh, we were doing a, a little um, uh, engagement post today over on my Sue Stamp Field group where we were talking about kindness and how we can make the world a kinder place by getting those cards in the mail. So I'm going to let you go stamp some cards so you can get them in the mail tomorrow. I've got some birthday cards that need to go. Um, take care, everyone. Have a great night and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.